Hi families, my name is Mallory Hammond and I get the joy of serving on the kids ministry team at Christ Presbyterian Church, where we aim to follow Christ in his mission of loving people, places, and things to life. As we've prayed through and worked diligently to distill our mission down into specific practices, we've zeroed in on three areas of focus, worship, connect, and serve. And while the idea behind Worship, Connect, and Serve is not to decide which of these should be your focus, but to focus and grow in all three. So today we're going to focus on Connect. Why is connection so important for you and your children? The reason it's important is because it matters for our flourishing as humans, and it's important to God as His people to connect to one another. And if we know that, how can we help our kids connect to the body of the church? So first, connection is an important ingredient in flourishing as humans. There's a psychological motivational theory called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And what it explains is a model of human needs often depicted as levels of importance within a pyramid. So for a human to survive, they first need food, clothing, shelter, and safety. Immediately after these needs are fulfilled, the next thing a human needs is connection with other people. Isn't that fascinating that God wired us this way? The very first thing humans need for flourishing and living into their humanness right after the basics is connection. God also confirms that we are made for each other in His Word. He gives us to each other in the form of the church body. Romans 12, 5 says, So in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We also have each other for the hard times. Galatians 6, says, Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So how does this happen with kids? Kids connect with each other by spending time together, working, playing, learning, shoulder to shoulder. That's the trick. We have to show up consistently to connect. Hebrews 10, 24 says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. This is as true for kids as it is for grown-ups. And I once heard that it takes eight hours of eye-to-eye -eye time for a kid to feel like they really trust you. And this is why this is a big deal for kids. The national average church attendance is a little under two times a month. So if your kid needs eight hours of eye-to-eye -eye time to connect with their volunteer leaders, their peers, which are other kids who represent dozens of schools in their classes at church, it could take between four and eight months for your child to feel comfortable relationally at church. And I don't wanna sound like I'm scolding anyone, but I wanna offer the invitation that there is real relational ground to be claimed by attending regularly. There are so many ways to connect at Christ Presbyterian and Kids Ministry at all of our locations. Parties, classes, small groups, just to name a few. And if your child is struggling to connect, please, please let your campus ministry leader know. We would love to help act as a social facilitator, introduce your child to new friends, and make our activities include connection games, all with the desire that your child would feel known and loved at church. We know that connectedness is an incredible gift from God to us and to each other. And we're so glad to be your best encouragers and helpers as we move towards each other in the body of Christ. We love you families. We're so grateful to be yours and that you are ours. Bye.